There was like this common thread in the films that you were showing. Um, mm. Yeah, get the drink, get the drizzle, get the drizzle. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, uh, but yeah, like there, there was this common thread that was there just with Americana films. You mm -hmm. know? And so, and I think it was interesting because like you're a person at this point in your career, you've been all over the place, you know, mm -hmm. shooting for so many different types of people, kind of weaving through all these different cultures. What specifically as a as a as a black man in America, like what is it that keeps drawing you back to this Americana um narrative, this Americana um uh, perspective? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a really like good your question. Own taste as well as like in how you shoot. Like what's what's that draw for you? Yeah. Um I mean, you know, the more I travel, the more American I probably feel, I guess. Um and how I think so? I mean, you just realize all the things that, uh, you know, make up who you are. And I think, I think like the first trip I went to London for like two months, um, which is where I kind of thought when I like wanted to be a photographer and I kind of thought like, oh, London is the epicenter you kind of have to go to and answer to because all of my favorite photographers are there and all of the photo agencies are there and all the good magazines are there and um, all the creativity is there and New York is so commercial in terms of photography. Right, right. This was like the reputation, like the stereotype. So I went to London and I was like, all right, I'm here to be, you know, taken seriously as like a photographer now. I want to be like, you know, whatever. And yeah. go out there for two months and I realized I feel much more American here. You know, just because I stick yeah. out like a sore thumb, because obviously the biggest thing is the accent, but also the culture and being around black folks in, in England, I was like, oh, we're we really have two different uh, whole cultural reference points, um, right. despite being both black, you know what I mean? Black British and black American. And so then I started to really hone in on what makes me me. And I, I think if you know yourself well, then making art is easy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I think that's the easiest part is once you really think about who you are then you know exactly what to make. So I really keep going back to this theme, the idea of being American. Um, I love the idea of playing with what American is. I love the idea of right now we're in such a culture where America means so many things. It means so many mm -hmm. destructive and problematic things, but it also means so many beautiful things and such a multitude of things. So I'm like one fraction of that story. Yeah. And I think, I think um, like even when we were programming the movie night, it's like, okay, it's Americana, but oh, they're playing The Farewell, you know? The Farewell is right. a story about a girl who, yeah, she lives in New York, but she's Chinese and her, you know, her nana, her grandma has died in, in China. So most of the movie takes place in China, but it's like, this is an, a Chinese American story. You know what I mean? Chinese like, context, American lens. Yeah, exactly. And also like, it's about Chinese um, immigration to America. So it's like, yeah. we're a country of immigration. So also in programming it, I thought that was fun to like, think about, all right, America is so many things. It's not just the flag and the, the anthem right. and, the, and the president's office. It's that joint, all that joint gets, is layered. Yeah, exactly. And it's funny because I remember like when, because last time I saw you was in London, um, uh -huh. me and, and your cousin Shep, you know, yeah. full disclosure, also my business partner. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the reason, you know, one of the things that I think, and I also experienced this when, you know, I went to, to, to Paris, you know, abroad people really love black american culture yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, like course, there's right. like this bend towards um um hip-hop right yeah. there's this bend yeah. towards just how we experienced you know this um yeah this this uh social experiment called the united states of america you yeah. know and it's and it's it's crazy like how it influences the fashion how yeah. it influences the music and mm -hmm. I remember when we came over, um, I'm not sure if it was, it was one of your friends who was having a barbecue. Um, uh, yeah, was, Jess, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we was having that conversation about like the, the, the difference of me. Yeah, man, yeah. and so I think that that's interesting. Like, I, I definitely relate to what you're talking about. Like, the more you go abroad, it's like you have these new experiences. Yeah. But at the same time, like you realize like, oh, I still am black. Yeah, I still yeah, am an American. Am American. And it almost Always. get heightened in, in new ways that we yeah. wouldn't experience here. Here, exactly, because maybe here it becomes so second nature. 